Russian. We have but I, a women's pool B. I think you would definitely say uh, Haywards are the uh, the best team we've seen so far, but I think there's quite a lot to come from fine, fine rugby now. Um, they came back in that second half and really made a very good side um, struggle. And um, again, once, as we said about invitational sides, once they get together and learn how each other plays, uh, they can improve as the tournament goes on. So that... Yeah, it's a bit of a learn while you go, learn while you play. <laughs> yes, learn while you play. Uh, we're going straight into our next game. We've got a pool B game. Uh, having on your screen there, you'll see a little pre-match photo. Uh, that's um, Tokyo and Thank You Phoenix. I really enjoyed watching them play last year, so I have high hopes. Yes. Uh, um, they were a very entertaining team, really beautiful, like very typically Japanese rugby. It was quick and slick. Their players are a bit smaller than some of the other big girls here, uh, but they don't worry about that. They do their thing. Uh, well, they were very good, and they I think they got to the final. Um, what I will say, though, is that I spy quite a few... Uh, <laughs> Club Valley players uh, on the bench here for Tokyo Phoenix, in um, including Bella Milo, who oh, is yes. uh, uh, the uh. captain of the Samoa team, um, as well as a few other players. So they've they've roped in a few Hong Kong uh, based players, which will be really fun to see. We've also there's a, um, a few a few others as well, and they are playing a team uh, yeah. um, from Papua New Guinea. Yeah, we don't have any uh, information about the Papua New Guinea team, uh, but uh, I, I think they'll be enjoying the opportunity to come here and play. Uh, yeah, I think we get two quite different styles of rugby here. I'm expecting Tokyo Phoenix to be fast and fit. Papua New Guinea look like they're going to be strong and big. Let's see the clash. PNG with the ball here. They're setting up nicely. Oh, we've gone with a kick. Nice strong boot there, right down the middle of the field. No one's at home, so there's quite a lot of space. Really depends on the chase. <laughs> there's... So the uh, Papua New Guinea side certainly look um, the, the taller and stronger side, but um, the Tokyo Sanyu Phoenix are normally noted for their speed and um, skill sets. Ball has gone the way of Papua New Guinea here. Frustratingly, after a minute, everyone's lost the burning. setting up for our first scrum of the day here. I will scrum of the day in this game, sorry, of course. Third match of the day here at Hong Kong Football Club Tradition 10s. We kicked off with two women's pool A games. We're now in the women's pool B. We have a whole day of rugby fun though. Let's see. Iffy here with a scram. A ref not happy with it being straight. Uh, you don't often see this in the turns having resets and mm. things, but uh, 
I suppose it's part of all rugby these days. Oh, ref's still very unhappy with this. Have. A lot of these refs are obviously very used to refing 15s games. You do have a little bit more time and to, to get the scrummaging right for 80 minutes of rugby. Well, that was a, a great shove from um, Tokyo there. Oh, that's a beautiful little bit of space there. The Papua New Guinea fun, but. She's been chased down by her fellow number four. Gets the ball to the offload. And we are directly under the post square. Well, that, that showed you the uh, threat straight away, didn't it? Uh, Absolutely. They found a bit of space and goodness me, but the Papua New Guinea use it. Of course, we know uh, Tokyo Sanyu uh, Phoenix quite well. Um, they've been here before, but they're well known and played in um, uh, uh, several uh, national in Japan sevens and fifteen format invitational games. Uh, so, a good take there from Tokyo Phoenix. At number eleven, Masaki Uyeki. They've moved the ball down the left of the field. Not a whole lot of space down there, though, unfortunately. Yeah, it was a nice distribution, but they didn't really get any benefit out of it uh, and didn't really put any pressure on Papua New Guinea. Um, I assume the Papua New Guinea must be the national side, or...? Uh, it would be my guess as well. Um, yeah. As I say, unfortunately, we, we have been... development team there are. Yes. No. <laughs> yeah. uh, we apologize for our own lack of information. We'll certainly go try and find out a bit more about that. Uh, we'll try and find out a bit more, but... Take it, Phoenix, meanwhile. Move the ball beautifully to the right. Gathered yeah, okay, it's gone backwards, so no problem there. But it's been snatched by Papua New Guinea. Oh, big beautiful pass. pass out there to the winger. She's got a bit of space. Is she gonna go all the way? She is number seven under time. the post. Well, that was lovely distribution and uh, but um, Beautiful pass there. And a great Number miss pass, seven. yeah. Uh, just creating space for someone who's clearly Number got a lot of uh, speed. way through this game. Papua New Guinea have scored twice. They've converted both times. The tries have been right under the post, which of course helps. They have a 14-0 lead. And they are already fighting back up right near the try line. But Tokyo Phoenix here with a little bit of space. This is their opportunity. Let's see where they go. a real team effort of excellent distribution and just Excellent spreading the game there. around. 
great support work and then wow that really goes to show that uh, talent will come through it's a great try flag go up and we'll get the full seven there for tokyo phoenix Papua New Guinea will want to work a bit on their on their defence and their attacking. Everyone looked a little bit hesitant. Yeah, yeah, I think that uh, that's the, that's the key. They're, they're clearly very good going forward, um, but when the, uh, they're tested, and that was they weren't really putting any pressure on uh, Tokyo there, and um, which allowed them not, to, you know, to basically involve pretty much everybody on the team twice in that move. Of course, we get straight back into it at 10. Papua New Guinea on their attack here. Oh, a drop ball, though. So it's into the hands of Tokyo Phoenix. We spoke about it a lot in the previous game, the ability to just keep going, even when things don't quite go the way you thought they were going to go, to pick the ball up and go again to reassess. Unfortunately, gone. For Tokyo Phoenix, that ball's gone forward. Nice. We're going to have another scrum. Do we think there will be one, two, three resets? <laughs> <laughs> well, now they're a bit closer. We can see what was going wrong. It seemed to be a problem in the front row. And the ref is talking to the Papua New Guinea front row. I think it's mainly down to the technique and right balls out Papua New Guinea on the run this tackle opportunity there from Tokyo Phoenix make up for it here ball's gone forward and goes straight into the hands of Tokyo Phoenix player is, they're proving to be very difficult players to, to tackle by Papua New Guinea. Managing to just keep going a little bit more. Number 10 there for Tokyo Phoenix, a Hong Kong addition to the team. Well, this is good possession uh, rugby uh, from Tokyo. Oh, that's a lovely pass. Oh, he manages to keep it in hand. <laughs> They're still going. Wrapped up, though. This is... Uh... We're going to move it out right. If they can get it to their wing, there is a little bit of space here on the right. She's certainly calling for it. Her hands up. Into her hands, it does go. Is there enough space? It gets closed down well by Papua New Guinea defence there. Well, that was great rugby, and that uh, brings to uh, an end the first half yeah. of uh, what's been an enthralling uh, match so far. Next up um, on the pitch, we have a women's 2B, Shandong versus China Five Stars. I'd certainly say this game has felt a bit more, again, like the, the teams are like getting into the groove. Yes, I, I think so. Uh, so, Papua New Guinea do seem to have a, a very good attacking threat, uh, but they seem to be a bit lost on, um, in creating pressure in defence. And I'm just sort of looking at that front row. It looked like one of them, their tight head prop, uh, was new to playing in that position and didn't really understand the binding. So it's created opportunities for Tokyo, uh, who I have to say, with probably the best distribution we've seen, um, have uh, worked the ball really well to create effect and they look like an old-fashioned sevens team mm. who are just keeping possession rather than looking for breaks uh, and uh, it's certainly how I was taught to play sevens but that was uh, a few years ago and, and many things have changed so it, it's an interesting two different styles two very different styles I think Papua New Guinea will be very happy that they capitalized so early on because I feel like Tokyo yes. Phoenix is has now, yeah, just sort of, they w took a little while to warm up, and I think they'll be a little trickier in the second half. Um, well, one of the features so far is the team talk seems to make a big difference, mm. and the team 
having been uh, talked to at half time, they, they're coming off the pitch and making big changes. So, uh, will this match be any different? I mean, yeah, who will benefit most? True. And one thing you did mention earlier, a lot of teams are invitational teams and even teams uh, that have a kind of core group often take on players when they get to the city they're playing in and those players haven't all played together. Yes. And so you, you at least have one half of rugby, everyone's kind of getting to know each other. I think that team talk is really then helpful. Now we're here, now we're playing. So, at... 17, 14-7. Uh, Ultimately for second half, just about to get underway, back on the game, 14. Tokyo Sankyo Phoenix, 7. I mean, really ought to play for here. Tokyo Phoenix, 7. Papua New Guinea, 14. It's anyone's game. Papua New Guinea kickoff, nice and flat there. They've gone fairly deep, straight into the hands of Tokyo Phoenix. You choose to kick it back. Oh, oh. Wasn't sure that one was going to go out. Turned out to be a beautiful little kick there. No, it's... Well, let's see. So this is good positioning for Tokyo, and they do need to come back with a try. Uh, and the earlier, the better. But. and give it a little fight there at the breakdown. Ah, oh, into their uh, hands. If this has been a, an import for Valley this year. Aylin Wu there, another Valley player on the wing. It's Uh, yes. Uh, Bella Milo there with the ball. She takes the tap. Papua New Guinea players all in the way. She's choosing to crash upfield. Yes. So Tokyo brought on a lot of their Valley help. Valley, uh, a club based out here in Hong Kong. Recently won the Women's Grand Championships. They, uh, well, the, uh, the, uh, the momentum is with the Tokyo side. And uh, when you're looking at them in the line out, they're very much shorter than the Papua New Guinea mm. team, but uh, throwing in from Papua New Guinea has not been brilliant. Uh, a lot of pressure there. Tokyo Phoenix have come away with the ball, and that is a try. So, as you spoke, even though Papua New Guinea lineup didn't really go their way, and Tokyo oh, Phoenix have ball. capitalized on that beautifully. Kick to come, and we could be even Stevens here. It is, yeah, it's, well, as you would say, it's game on. Um, and, and, uh, Tokyo Sankyo Phoenix 14, Papua New Guinea 14. And a rough assessment is, is that uh, Tokyo are playing very much as a team and Papua New Guinea seem to be very much individuals, but they seem to be pretty talented individuals there. And, um, who will win out? Oh, bit of a collision there. Luckily, both seem to be fine. Papua New Guinea up for the kick. Big kick out there. Decent number of Tokyo Phoenix players to cover, though. Maybe. Arm has gone up, but it's in the hands of Papua New Guinea again. A little bit well, slow to the breakdown. We need some support there. So it's, uh, PNG's turn now, but good pressure from Tokyo. PNG come away with the penalty. Oh, there is a little bit of space out wide uh, here. Uh, and, that's... Oh, and she's going to go all the way. Bison's going to uh, right under the post there, and that is try, Papua New, New Guinea. And a very good individual try. 
think it is Lorraine Tara, but my team sheet's not always correct. Papua New Guinea hit back really well there after conceding a try at the start of this half. So uh, it's all to play for. There's five minutes to go, five and a half minutes to go in this half uh, in the match. And uh, again, Tokyo getting the ball. If they can do what they did last time, this this uh, it's certainly within the realms of, of winning this match. Tokyo Phoenix uh, yeah. looking prepped to bring on a flurry of replacements here. I've got five players standing up in front of me. Into the hands of Hastings Latar. Oh, Elin oh. Wu, her Valley teammate, hoping for the ball there. Just while the ball of the pitch, yeah. teams that are upcoming, you really need your team sheets a game and a half before you play. So basically at half time, um, two games before your game, because you get your well, team Well, as you predicted, uh, uh, a complete clean out of the uh, Tokyo side. Probably a, a good tactic, because <laughs> people will be pretty tired by now. And then men's pool, the introduction was easy versus yeah, it's certainly, it's a tiring game when you've got five less people on a full field. Well, let, let's see if the tactic works. Uh, yeah, the thinking would be to certainly keep your team with the fifth fast legs. Bella Milo and Hastings Liatawa have stayed on. Hong Kong based players are playing here in the back line for Tokyo Phoenix. Tokyo Phoenix, a lot of their replacements have gone into the scrum, which I imagine in terms of size is probably quite difficult. However, the, the scrum is spun and, and it's come on the favor of Tokyo Phoenix. And so more technical issues, yes, it's uh, oh, a nice rugby. Oh, Hastings were to Bella Mila with a little flourish there. We're finding a bit of Searching, searching for space out on the right wing. Back in the middle. Ah. The ball has gone the way of Papua New Guinea. A beautiful pressure here from Tokyo Phoenix. Fortunately knocked on there. Well, there's oh. three minutes to go. The scrum is leaking points for uh, uh, Papua New Guinea, so... Let's see what the uh, the outcome of this will be. Papua New Guinea choosing to bring on two replacements. 12 and 13. Scrum setups here have been a bit slower than previous games. <laughs> Although that always gives everyone a little breather, so I don't think anyone's uh, complaining yes, on uh, the pitch. An old tactic, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that a, one comes a, out nicely, though. That was a high kick take. there into the hands of Casey. Uh, she flicks it out back. Oh. Go for another scrum here. Scrum out, and they they had they put a great push on on the uh, uh, from Tokyo in the last scrum, but they weren't able to get the ball. Uh, probably worth having another go doing that because it almost worked for them. Got a shout out from Nadia Kivile is tuned into the live stream watching her fairly valley fellow valley players who've joined in with tokyo phoenix always fun to see your teammates mix it up in a in a different setup 
yes. Of course, if you do manage to get off work and you're in Hong Kong, do come down to the Hong Kong Football Club. Make the sure. day will be jam-packed full of fun and good rugby vibes. Yes, as I say, I think with the holiday coming up tomorrow, uh, you'll feel the, see the stands filling up this afternoon as people have find appointments to go to late in the afternoon. Just some, just some networking lunches. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a lot of net, networking will be car carried out. Well, we're down to the last 30 seconds. It's make or break for Tokyo. A little bit stop start in the second half, I must say. I was anticipating a bit more fluidity, but each uh, game has been quite uniquely different. Well. Tokyo Phoenix with the throw uh, in. It doesn't quite go their way. So that's the official tie up, but Tokyo have possession. They've got the penalty. And they could very well just sneak in one more little try, which certainly would make things exciting. Oh, and down they and go. That is Trust. a brilliant comeback from Tokyo. Hit final time, Tokyo score, conversion <laughs> needed to try. So beautiful team try there. Ball got down by Hastings Latua. Oh, they've taken the kick and it has not gone through, which would have evened things out here to draw. The clock on our screen has timed out. Not too sure how the ref's clock is looking. Oh, I stand to be corrected. I saw right, ball flying. So, Wasn't the kick. Uh, this is actually a very difficult kick. Uh, drop kick. It's right from the corner. It's looking nice. The flag goes up! Uh, oh, oh. And Successful conversion. That, that is uh, 21 all at the final whistle. What a fantastic game. What a good <laughs> end to that match. Uh, Love the vibe. That was really, really good. Uh, and two very contrasting styles, um, which turned out to be equal in the end. It's a good little fun of tens. It's going to be a whole mixed bag of rugby styles here today. And, uh... Papua New Guinea will obviously be disappointing, disappointed at holding onto the lead for most of the game. So close to a first game win for them. And Tokyo Phoenix celebrated massively, coming away with the draw, 21-21. But we're going to move right on into our next game, our fourth game of the day. It's another women's pool B match. Talk us through it. 